again, I had no intention of doing something Christmassy, um, but what are you going to do? My project that I had planned did not, did not work out. Um, sorry, I'm just trying, oh, there I am, okay. I always have trouble. <laughs> All right, so well, I know I won't be sharing it because I'm in the VIP group, but at least this way I can see uh, when people come in. So this was my original project for today. Oh, I'm sorry about the the brightness. It's just, I don't know, the light with the dark behind here. Um, so this is just from Target, um, just like in their craft section. I thought it was cute, and I painted it, and then I was going to go and... You know, this isn't working. Um, so I painted it and I was gonna do a transfer over it, but when I, even though I had sanded it, when I painted it, it raised like all the grain. So I don't know, I have to go back over it, sand it again, um, maybe, you know, touch up some of the paint that I sand off. Unfortunately, it didn't work out. Uh, I feel like everything I was trying to do today just did not work out. It was just one of those days. I don't know why. <laughs> But you know what? It happens sometimes. So this little project that I'm going to work on is kind of like a trial test run. If it works out, I'm going to be um, selling these at a couple of events I have coming up. So hopefully, hopefully they're good. All right. So you can see right here, I know it's a little small. Um, I have the Say Yes to Adventure. So that is from the transfer. Um, I don't know why I can never remember the name of it. Explore More. So it has, um, oh sorry, it has like 12 different little, um, little things you could use. Um, I mean, you could put these on mugs, on, you know, obviously ornaments. Um, Chocotour sells uh, the chalk chips. They can be used on those. Of course, they're out of stock right now, which is why I tried to come up with something different. Because they're not going to be back in stock, I don't think, until like December. So that doesn't help me for my events that I have coming up. So I did this one a little while ago. And when you're working with the ink, you want to make sure that you let it dry and then heat set it. You don't want to heat set it before it's dry because then it's gonna smear. All right, so if you're wondering this mat that I'm working on, it's kind of a, it has like a slight like stickiness to it. So it's really good to hold, um, hold whatever you're working on in place, um, which is great for like, you know, making t-shirts or the pillows, it fits right inside there. And it has like just enough stickiness that it'll kind of help you out. Um, before I got the mat, I was actually using cardboard, you know, pieces of cardboard and, um, you know, masking tape, which worked, but this is definitely easier. All right. And then I have a bunch of stuff to the side that, um, I can use to decorate. So what I'm going to be using as my like ornament base are embroidery hoops. So I had this one, it's a little, it's bigger than I want to use. Um, but I'm just kind of testing this out to see if it works. So if it works, I'll, you know, make a bunch of them. If not, you know, oh well, it's not, not the end of the world. I didn't spend much money to get this. So I just kind of am lining it up in a good place on the, you know, on the plaid or, you know, whatever pattern. Um, you want to just be mindful of what colors you're using so that your color shows. You know, obviously I wouldn't want to like you know, go right over this and then that part of the design isn't really going to work out. So for this one, I intentionally left it low, even though I, I kind of left it a little too low because I wanted to, um, I'm going to like decorate it up here. Um, I have some like jingle bells, like some little mini jingle bells and other stuff, whatever, whatever ends up working. <laughs> So for this, this one, which I'm going to do on camera, and then we'll just continue with that one. Um, but just so you can see, I kind of just am, you know, centering it in the middle 
of you know the square just so I have like a general idea um, all right sorry I can't get this apart here so it just in case you haven't seen any of the videos so the transfers are oh this is terrible because of the black hair it's like messing with the light Let's see if I there we go um, the, where you see white is actually mesh so I'm just gonna peel that off and this backer sheet I already wrote on the back side and again I apologize for the glare um, which transfer it is what set it comes from you know or whatever just to help me you know put things back so I'm just gonna move that out of the way for the moment and I'm just gonna try to like center it on here I mean it doesn't have to be like perfect I say that, but then it'll drive me nuts if it's a little off. Like that one is a little bit off and I'm like, um, that looks pretty good. So I wanna make sure that I don't have any air bubbles and that everything is really stuck down. And just kind of give it a good press. All right. Now my ink, I just used it a little while ago doing that, so I don't need to mix it. And let's see. So yeah, I'm really not ready for Christmas and doing Christmas uh, crafts, but you know what? I wanna make some to be able to sell them, so obviously I have to get moving. So now with the ink, you wanna make sure that you don't get any out in your area that you don't, don't want ink because you can't just wipe it away like the chalk paste. And also when you set the ink down, you wanna go out in the teal part of the transfer. You don't wanna go out in the open part. Um, with the paste, it doesn't matter so much, but the ink, it tends to bleed. So I'm just gonna be extra careful. Now with this project, if I got it outside, you know, out here, it wouldn't matter so much. And then I'm just gonna kinda of come across with it. And you want it with another little tip with the ink, you want to continue in the same direction. You don't want to, you know, go in all different directions because it can bleed under the, under the transfer. And I just did that. <laughs> um, so kind of similar to working with, um, like working with stencils, I believe you want to do the same kind of thing. I have way too much paste on here and I'm using a little multi-tool just because these um, transfers are so small I would be probably getting paste at, or ink I keep calling it paste all over the place so now I just want to come through kind of pick up my extra so now the great thing about the mat like I don't have to try and hold on to anything and I'm just being really careful not to come over too far you can also take like you know painters tape or masking tape and kind of tape it off which i've done a few times but this i'm not really like too you know too fussy about now the other thing with the ink that i think is pretty neat oh i didn't bring my wet paper towel but i always forget something every time is you can kind of like peek underneath and make sure that it's okay good so I always want to check your hands make sure you don't have any you know ink on your fingers just saw it on that on one finger and then you just peel it right off oh shoot that didn't work hold on well we might have a bear with like missing some fur Let's see. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like the metallic ink, I, it's like a little bit tricky. I don't know if it like kind of clogs through the holes or something or I don't know. You can go back and touch it up with a brush, but I actually really like the look of when it's not perfect. I just want to make sure that, oh shoot. I guess this is 
keeping in track with my day today. Stuff like not working. This will work. I'm just gonna just keep going here. Guaranteed these little words down here probably did not come out so well. Sure, the one that I did, not on camera, I like literally swiped across it once and it was perfect. Except I just didn't center it that well. All right, let's try this again. Oh, shoot. Well, we're gonna go with it. All right, and I have some water right to the side that I'm just gonna set that in. So I feel like with the ink, there is a little bit more of like a learning curve. Um, and I notice there's a difference too in the colors, how the different colors work. I don't know if it's just me or if that is the case. Well, that one looks a little too like rustic looking, but that's all right. Cause we're going to just work on the other one. And I just have, of course I have ink all over my finger. I just don't want to get it on. Sorry. All right. See, this is one of my things with the ink. I'm always like afraid to like do it on clothes or you know anything like expensive because <laughs> I don't want to ruin anything. Um, some of the girls that I know that are also that also do chalk couture will you know add it to clothing and. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't want to ruin anything. So I've done like a couple of like t-shirts and uh, some pillows and stuff. Because that way at least if I mess up, it's not that expensive. All right, let me just I'll get that out of the way. So now this is the one I did before. Let me just move this so that I don't drop it and have the thing covered in dog hair or something. Okay, so I was gonna say no watch, I probably cut it and left it wrong. Alright, so all I'm gonna do is I just have to turn it toward me for a second, just so that I can make it fit. Now I'm not worried at all about the top part of the embroidery hoop because you're not even gonna see it. I guess I'll try to get this as I can because I went a little too low. Let's see. Flip. I cannot believe my dogs are not freaking out right now because all before I came on they were driving me crazy and I was like oh this is not gonna go well but they are quiet. Then I'm just oh, I should tighten it. So now when I do this to make them uh, for ornaments, I'm going to get a smaller one. I have this one, so that was the only reason why I'm doing one that's kind of large. I'm just going like, to pull it a little bit tighter. And I chose silver because this uh, fabric actually has like a little bit of silver in it. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to like kind of finish off the back so that it looks a little bit neater. Um, but when I uh, painted the embroidery hoop, I, um, I painted this like the, you know, the part that would show if I don't cover the back. I just don't know how I'm going to deal with all the fabric. I don't know if I'm just going to glue it or what. So this is like totally a test run. I don't even know if it'll work. All right. For now, I'm just going to leave it like that. So I have like a bunch of different things. I have, um, oh my gosh, mistletoe. I'm like mental block there. I have got this at the Target dollar spot. It's just some kind of like garland, fake leaves. That's that. I got some like little bells and stuff, and I have tons of other stuff. I am like a craft store junkie. So I also bought some greenery and berries. 
so I'll probably just do that. I always love the stuff with like a little, looks like fake snow. And it's so funny when I go to the store, it like drives me crazy because I don't want something that is going to put like glitter everywhere because the glitter just drives me nuts. So I'm like at the craft store like shaking stuff around to make sure like the glitter, you know, if it does have like glitter that it doesn't come off. I think I'm just going to go with like these kind of, I don't know, these kind of pieces. Oh, why didn't bring ribbon over? Of course I didn't. I'm trying to get something. And I don't have wire cutters. Nothing like being prepared. Okay, this stuff does make a mess, so. Alright. I like this stuff. This is kind of not your like traditional Christmas greenery. So I'll turn it this way so you guys can see. How these I think I'm definitely gonna do them smaller. Oh my gosh, this thing is like there we go. So if you're a little little tip using um, the glue gun when you're finished and you so you have all those like strings everywhere, if you take your hair dryer and you oops, I'm totally not centered. Take your hair dryer and just on the warm setting and just go over what you're working on. It'll kind of cut all those strings. All right. Actually, this will probably help hold the fabric in place too. I went to Joanne Fabrics yesterday and I was probably in there for, oh, I don't know, two hours. Like I could stay there all day. So yesterday my husband's like, oh, what did you do today? I'm like nothing. I didn't go anywhere, really. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Um, so this is just like the plasticky part, so I'm, I don't need wire cutters or anything, so. Finally, something in my day is going right. <laughs> As I almost dropped the glue down. All right, so the other thing I'm gonna add is some sort of bow or something, but I never took any ribbon out of my bin of ribbon, so let's see. We'll kind of just just cut this off a little bit too much. So I'm not really worried about the top part, like these little pieces showing. I'm like trying so hard not to like sniffle. I don't know what it is. It's not even like freezing in the house, but I just all day cannot stop sniffling. That's totally crooked, but that's all right. Oops, just glued my finger. I'll just cut this a little bit off here. gosh, I feel like I'm just going to jam my fingers right in the hot glue. <laughs> All right. Oh my gosh, I'm actually really excited for how this came out. And I bought all this other stuff and that's all I'm using. Maybe I'll stick a pine cone in there. I don't know. Let's see. 
so I have a whole bunch of events coming up. I have like, let's see, I have like three in November, and I have, I think so far, two in December. Maybe one. I don't know, I have to double check. Sometimes places, they, uh, they don't get back to you. So they where I send them information and they don't tell me where to send the payment. You'd think that's the first thing they would ask. All right, some of these things are kind of popping off. I might have to just add a little bit more glue. Let me just, just put a little dab right here. I really wish that Facebook wasn't so like fussy about music because that is like the worst thing is for me, the silence. All right, almost done. Oh my gosh, my strings of glue are everywhere. Oh, I didn't realize this had glitter on it. It's like big chunks of glitter, so. Oh, sorry, I'm like all over the place here. You know what? I don't even think I'm going to add a ribbon. I kind of like it like this. All right. I just. All right. So there it is. All right. So when I make a bunch of these, I will show you guys. All right. Have a great night.